G'day Hoovins and welcome back to my channel for this week's brand new video. This week I wanted to have a chat about my experience with Doctor Who. So I'm going to talk about how I got into Doctor Who and how it impacted my life. As usual, let me know in the comments down below your experience with Doctor Who. Tell me your story. So, Doctor Who. I was kind of a latecomer with Doctor Who. I kind of really didn't get into it until 2008-2009. The first story that I saw on TV was Voyage of the Damned. It was December 26, uh, the 2007 Christmas special. And here in Australia, we get the Christmas specials uh, about, we used to get the Christmas specials about a week later than uh, England, which is a stupid idea. Thankfully, now we get it a day after England, so, oh. But I can remember sitting and watching TV with my dad, we're flicking through channels because it's Australian television, nothing is on. And we came across this very strange show. It was the scene where the Doctor and the survivors of the Titanic are basically hitting the angel halos with junk. The scene where the angels are throwing their halos and trying to kill the Doctor and his friends. And young Liam kind of looked at this and thought, what the hell is this crap? To me, it looked absolutely stupid. Let me just mention Voyage of the Damned, I love it now, it's one of my favourite stories of all time. But I didn't like the look of this show at first, so we changed the channel and I forgot about it. Fast forward to 2008, Midnight was on TV here in Australia. Again, my dad and I were watching TV and flicking through channels, and we came across an episode of Doctor Who. The episode was Midnight. It was halfway through the episode. I had no idea what was going on. It looked creepy though, and I wanted to watch it. I watched the rest. Um, I can't remember what part the episode was up to when I actually started watching. But I watched the rest of the episode. I think it was like a good 20 minutes left. And I loved it. It was creepy. It was cool. And even after the episode aired, I ran around my house uh, copying everything my sister said and creeped her out a lot. So what was my first episode? I kind of, when people ask, I say Voyage of the Damned. Uh, although, yeah, it's hard to say. After watching Midnight on TV though, I didn't watch any more of Series 4 on TV, unfortunately. The next episode of Doctor Who I saw wasn't until 2009. And the first full episode of Doctor Who that I watched was Planet of the Dead. Wait, no, that is a lie. For Christmas in 2008, my dad's mate got me a box set, got me the Series 3 box set for Christmas. I binge watched the whole box set, um, I loved it. So technically the first episode that I watched, like the full first episode, was Smith and Jones. But the first episode I watched on TV was Planet of the Dead in 2009. I can remember I was at my grandparents house with my brother and it was coming on that night and my brother and I sat down and watched it and I loved it. It's still a story I love to today to today, sorry. Um, I love Planet of the Dead, it's a great story. And then throughout 2009, I watched all the specials. I watched Planet of the Dead, The Waters of Mars, uh, and both The End of Time, part one and two. I had only been watching Doctor Who for a little while, but I had become attached very quickly to David Tennant. So when The End of Time, part two came around, I burst into tears when he regenerated, and I was heartbroken. This was my first regeneration as well, so I was kind of new to that. I kind of didn't fully understand what was happening. But as soon as Matt Smith came onto my scene, I fell in love with the 11th Doctor. My first full series of watching Doctor Who on TV was series five. I can remember watching every single episode every single week. And at the time when series five was airing on TV, uh, my dad had a printer at his house. At my mum's house, I didn't have things hanging up in my bedroom. My bedroom was really bare and boring. So the printer at my dad's house only printed black and white. But I really wanted to decorate my bedroom at my mum's house with Doctor Who. So I printed heaps of black and white Doctor Who pictures and then hung them up in my bedroom at my mum's house. So if you went into my room, it was literally just black and white photos of Doctor Who everywhere. So since series five, I've watched every single series on TV and that's kind of the story of how I got into Doctor Who. The first figurine set that I got was from my dad, which was the Voyage of the Damned figurine set with the 
the 10th Doctor, Kylie Minogue and the Angels. And I've still got that figurine set on my shelf today. I love them, it's one of my favorites. In terms of Doctor Who impact in my life, it, it had a very big impact. A few years before I got into Doctor Who, my parents got divorced. I'm not gonna get into too much details of that, um, but they got divorced and as a kid, you, you kind of take it really badly. But it was, it was a very hard time for me. And as my parents were going through this divorce, I started suffering from depression, uh, and anxiety. I even got uh, diagnosed with ADHD. And with the fact knowing that my parents were no longer together, I used to cry myself to sleep a lot. I used to cry a lot. And I used to be a very sad and kind of damaged child. This is gonna sound cliche as hell, but it did. Doctor Who helped me, it really did. When I was sad, I used to sit down and watch Doctor Who and I would feel a little bit happier. Like I said, it sounds cliche and stupid to say, but honestly, Doctor Who kind of saved my life. With my depression, I was in a very bad place, and yeah, Doctor Who helped me big time. And everyone always says, oh, it gets better, and it honestly feels like it doesn't, but it definitely will. So Doctor Who has definitely had a huge impact on my life in terms of helping me uh, with my health and my uh, mental problems. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. I can even remember getting up at 2am to watch the announcement of who the next Doctor was after Matt Smith. I can even remember waking up at 2am to watch the 50th anniversary in time with England. I've dedicated a whole lot of my life and a whole lot of time to Doctor Who uh, through a YouTube channel, through collecting things, through watching it. Through Doctor Who I have made so many friends. I have had the opportunity to create this YouTube channel and share my opinions and my content with you guys. Um, and I've had the opportunity to do some really cool things. I went to the Doctor Who Symphonic Spectacular. If you don't know what that is, it's basically the Doctor Who Proms for Australia. There is never really a downside to Doctor Who, uh, although I used to get bullied a lot for how much I liked it. Uh, I kind of, it affected me a little bit, but also I kind of tried to ignore them as much as I could. Nowadays, I don't really care what people say. Nowadays as well, it's it's much harder to be a Doctor Who fan because of the female Doctor. You can't really put your opinions out there without people having a go at you. And I love the 13th Doctor, I love Jodie Whittaker, but if you comment on like a Doctor Who page's post, uh, people comment on your comment and like they're not very nice. I definitely still love and adore Doctor Who so much, but I think that I, I don't love it as much as I used to when I was a kid. Which, when thinking about it, is, it does make me a little bit sad. It does. Um, but I still love the show a lot. It is still one of my favourite things in the whole world. It's still something I go to when I'm sad, when I'm angry, and yeah, I, I, I honestly don't know where I would be with Doc, without Doctor Who. Tell me in the comments what your Doctor Who story is. I would love to hear how it has impacted and affected your life. Hello, this is Sylvester McCoy here, Doctor Who number seven. I want to say, Whovians, don't forget to subscribe to Whovian Comley. There's a new video every week. And you don't have to be comely to watch it. You can be uncomely too. Thanks for watching this week's brand new video, Whovians. If you haven't already, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. And like the doctor just said, subscribe. There's a brand new video every single Friday. And if you haven't already, follow me on social media for some behind the scenes photos and videos, and of course, more Doctor Who content. I'm Liam and I'll see you guys next week. Bye everyone.